Welcome back, Charlotte, with a intervention video by your favorite teacher, Mr. Stallworth. So, today's intervention video is for April 22nd, and you'll have one more video for April 23rd. All right, so let's hop right into it today. So we are going back with perimeter. So perimeter should be real familiar because you're learning this right now in Eureka as well. Perimeter and area. So these questions will be fairly simple. Might take a little thinking on some of them. A little critical thinking is good for the brain. So the one that we're going to do together is right here. A rectangle is outlined on this grid. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? So very simple. What you would start with is basically counting to see how many square units do you have on each side. Now, I know if I figure out this side, it's going to be the same as this side. Same well as I figure out the side of one, uh, one side length at the top is going to match my side length at the bottom because it is what type of shape? A rectangle. All righty. So let's figure out one side of each. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six units. So that's going to be six. I'm going to put a U for units. Now my side length is going to be one, two, three. So that's going to be three units. So remember, when I find a perimeter, I got to add up the total amount of the outside. So let's do that now. Let's move this over and let's add up our total outside. That's going to be six units plus six units because I got two sides. Plus three units. And then plus my other three units over here. And now I just got to solve for my total perimeter. And I let P represent perimeter. So now P is equal to... 12 units plus 6 units. Now I got to add those two up to get my total perimeter. That's going to be 12 plus 6. Think, think, think. Great job. 12 plus 6 is going to be 18 units. So what is the perimeter of this uh, rectangle? It will be 18 units. So you could tell that was easy peasy. Correct, lemon squeezy. So now we're gonna hop right into the independent practice. So you can either look at all the questions first before you solve them and go to the answers, or you can solve them one by one. I suggest you solve them one by one. So after I show each question, pause the video, solve it. And then when we get done solving them all, you can check your work. All right, so this is gonna be question number one. Make sure on this question you are taking your time and reading your answer choices. Don't just stop after you finish one of them. You think you found it. I want you to check all of them. As you will see when I show you my work, I made sure I checked all answer possibilities. Okay. This is question number two for today. Take notice on this question as well. You know the side lengths of a square are all the same. So we know they will all be the same, but you gotta make sure you pay attention to what the question is asking you. I'm gonna tell you now, if you get 24, you are incorrect. 24 will not be correct. Just wanna give you that little helper right there. All right, question number three. Make sure you take a note. A lot of these questions, you gotta pay attention to the detail of what they are asking you, because you will get confused. Question number four.
All righty. The answers will be coming up next. So if you're not ready for the answers, you may pause the video right now. If you are, keep on watching. Answers for number one. When I first did it, I'm going to zoom in real quick. When I first did it, I missed this one. So I ended up getting the wrong answer. Make sure you didn't miss this one as well. I'm sorry, you can't even see which one I'm pointing at. I missed this one right here. So make sure when you're doing it, you're doing, you don't miss the same thing. All right, zooming back out. Okay, going to number two. Okay, going to number three. Okay, going to number four. So that will be all for today. I know that you got them all right because you are my students. So great job as always, scholars. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Mr. Starworth on Dojo. I am always here to help you. So until tomorrow, scholars, see you next time.